Hey guys, Amy here with Sublimation and More and Hellbound Designs and the Stamy Show. Um, <clears throat> in this video tutorial, I promised that I would show you guys how I uh, work with Tagul, which is a paid service. I do pay for their service um, to make word art. So here's the website. The website is um, tagul.com, and as you can see, I'm already logged in. And the first thing I want to do is we're going to start a new cloud, all right? Um, and I want to use, the best way to do this is you got to have a vector image, which vector images are, um, they're, they're black and white images like this, okay? So if I were to open this with Photoshop, which I'm doing now, Sorry for the wait. If I were to open up with Photoshop, as you can see, it's just a black vector, um, and there's no ba uh, transparent background. Okay. Um, so I'm going to close that, and I'm not going to do Texas. I actually want to do this one. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and import that in. So the first thing you would do is shapes and you would do add image and I'm going to browse for a file. So I'm going to go with images, go down to my vectors, and I'm going to click that. Um, the threshold and the edges, as you can see, it kind of makes it smooth and not smooth. You can play with these numbers. I usually um, go with the default. Okay. So I don't remember what the default was, but I think we'll just leave it right around there. See how that looks. Okay, so I have my shape. Now we need to add our words. Okay. And again, you can click on this little customize icon here which looks like a gear and change it if that doesn't look the way you want it. Now Tagul does come with a bunch of preloaded stuff. Um, these are probably vectors here as well in there. It looks like they're adding a lot more um, compared to when I first started. So they got smiley faces and Halloween and music and all this kind of cool stuff. A volleyball, soccer ball, which I didn't even know they had sports in their lips, wedding. So they got some stuff already in there, and you can also choose by category. So next you need some words. So I'm just going to put love. And another thing you can do is you can import words. So um, what I like to do especially if somebody gives me an option I like to do words here in my notepad and um, I'm just gonna say love family together um, hail uh, family together love let's see best I'm gonna do this as a best friends forever. Um, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna work on creating some words, and then uh, I'll come back to you guys. Okay, so here you can see I compiled my uh, list of words, and what I would do is just copy all of them and hit cop right click and copy, and then I would go over here to goal and I would just hit enter, all right? And then um, <clears throat> you can choose any of these options here. I'm just gonna say import words. And as you can see, it imports them all in there for you. This is the easiest way I found to do this. Now the next thing you need to do is decide on what words you want to be the biggest. I want their names to be bigger. I usually set 10. Um, I'm going to put that as an 8, their last name. I'm going to do this as a 5. 
And then I'm going to put their birth dates as an 8. Um, put basketball as a 5. The rest of these, um, put sisters, 5. Daughter, 5. Aunt, 5. Alright, the rest of these will leave. Now, <clears throat> if you want the words to repeat, and you will need to do this to fill up the cloud, um, I recommend that you leave those as repeated. <clears throat> the next thing you want to do is visualize. Alright, so this is probably where everybody, most everybody's probably figured this part out by now. Alright, um, the interesting part what I'm going to teach you is how to move these things around. So, the layout you can choose layout and you can choose fonts alright so here they have the fonts random um, I kinda like this font here but if we wanted to go with a different font um, say we wanted to let's just test on their names let's go with a um, one that I'm familiar with actually Let's try it. I'm not familiar with that, but I'm going to try it anyways. So usually you want to play around with just one name and go from there. I do like how that looks, but I think I'm going to try a different one. And just kind of go with which one I'll choose. I like that one. Uh, let's try that one. I don't care for that one. Okay. Not for this, anyways. Um, let's try that one. I've used this one before. And this one kind of gives it the... Um, I like this one, and I would choose this one for all of them. So if I were to do that, let's go by Loved by the King. So you'd click on Font. I'm sorry. And let's see if we can default that for all of them and then do visualize alright so it made them all loved by the king which is what I wanted to do now I'd come back up here to the words and I'm gonna go with more of a bold word so that their names stand out alright and let's try that one alright I'm gonna go with the bubblegum one on that one so what you do is on the ones you want to stand out you're gonna choose that font okay and I usually just go along and do all the ones I'm gonna want that and I think I'm just gonna do their names for now and maybe these other ones let's just try that for now and see what it looks like Alright, so as you can see, um, we've got the four words that we have there, and we can add more font to them later. Now what I want to do is I want to, I would want to leave one name on each side for this particular design. So, and then I want to move Hill probably right up along the top. So what you do to do that now is you go to Edit Mode, and you just grab the name and you move it where you want alright um, and it's gonna make it fit you can resize it if you want but what I would do is let's see and then once you get it where you want it then you will click on visualize now it's gonna be very hard to tell how it looks in the edit mode so what you want to do is go back to animation mode alright so if we want to see and I'm gonna try to zoom in here for you guys what it looks like so as you can see we put Hale up there sister and sisters down there kinda twice so we may want to do something about that and I think I want to make Hale smaller okay so what I'm gonna do is hit done and I'm going to go back up to edit mode. And I'm just going to make that smaller so it fits in the hand. And I'm going to move the second sister 
just somewhere randomly over here okay and I'm also gonna make it smaller right there and then we're gonna do visualize again and I think for edit I would want to put both of their names equally so I'm gonna just move those and do visualize again all right and again you can't because they put when you're in edit mode it leaves the the uh, the frames around the name so you got to click on animation to be able to really see what that's going to look like and I'm really happy with that I really really like how that looks so next I would do is I'm going to come over here and I would do um, and you can change the layout too I currently am doing it all horizontal but if you um, wanted to see what it would look like horizontal vertically and all that you could do that so let me just say for the sake of the video I'm just gonna do that and see how it moves the hands and it probably shifts the hands in there a lot better and makes them more fit so I'm gonna kind of leave it like that and the next thing you want to do is colors and animation now this is important if you're using this as a as a uh, for vinyl cutting you need it to be a vector and you need the background to be transparent okay the rest of this is not gonna matter but you need to make sure you check transparency and turn the shape transparency down to zero alright next is <clears throat> I'm gonna save this as um, just hand heart and you can save your clouds as what you want and I'm gonna hit save changes and then I would hit download and I would save it as a probably as a high quality EPS because they're the easiest to work with okay um, and that's what I would choose and every time you download depending on your plan um, it's gonna tell you how many downloads you have left and how long alright so I just use this as one of my downloads which is fine I save them in a folder that I actually have word clouds so I'm just gonna save it there so you guys know what it looks like okay usually if you make changes to it and you have to re-download it again it won't it won't recharge you um, I think it counters it 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 it, uh, it knows that you sometimes you may have to make changes if you need to if this is a popular cloud and you need to just change the words what I usually do is hit duplicate cloud and then then I would go like this so now it's a copy and then you could change the words to whatever you wanted here um, you know uh, to the fit the next customer so this is how I use Tagul um, it's pretty simple like I said the most people don't realize is how to use this edit mode and the edit mode is fairly simple you just move things around and shift it now keep in mind once you move a word where you want it it's gonna stay there you have to it won't randomly remove it you'll have to move it yourself if you decide you want it somewhere else alright so if I go to open that word art um, just to show you what it looks like and I'm having a brain fart here oh there we go and let's see where to go it's around here somewhere right oh there we go it's an EPS it's not let me see it um, make sure when you import it if you're doing it into um, Photoshop you go as high as you want which to me if it's sub you need to be going with the 33 I mean I'm sorry a 300 resolution and you can go higher if you want and that's pretty much what it looks like so you're all set to print this add it to a background whatever you want to do with it um, if you guys have any questions feel free to ask at the end of this video uh, during our live webcast and I'll be